What's up guys, it's your boy Ravner and today I'm going to be giving a block for block tutorial on how to build this very simple white church build inside of Minecraft. So as you can see, it's a fairly large build and it has quite a few interesting details inside of it that really makes it stand out. So, uh, before we get into the build, we're going to have a quick look at the blocks we're going to be using and some other small details, but let's get right into it. Right then guys, so uh, before we get into the build, we're just going to have a quick look at the palette and the layout of the build. Right, so in terms of the blocks, most of these are just used for de uh, like detailing the walls and the roof and stuff like that. So we have uh, polished diorite, uh, quartz pillar, as well as smooth quartz stair and slab. We have uh, diorite, calcite, white wool, white concrete, uh, deep slate brick, stair, slab and wall. We have stone brick, uh, block, st uh, stair, slab and wall. We also have uh, andesite block, stair and slab. And we have diorite wall, black stained glass pane, uh, azalea leaves, uh, you can have them in either the flowering version or the non-flowering one, warped trapdoor. So uh, it's a fairly simple amount of blocks and most of them are just used for building up the um, the build itself. Now looking at the layout, this is a fairly large build, so the main uh, rectangle is 19 by 11, so that is quite large, so you should have a pretty decent amount of space on the inside. The smaller tower on the right is 5x5, five five, so that's going to go up 5x5 five five and it's going to thin out into sort of like a free, free, sort of like free all the way around sort of circle. Uh, the two rectangles on the top and bottom are 7x5s, and the one at the back is a 3x7. So, as you can see, the build is just fairly nice, and we are going to be getting right into it. Right then, guys, so as you can see, it is a fairly large build, but it is pretty simple, so we're going to be getting right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is build up the corners of the build with these pillars. So you want to get your polished diorite and quartz pillar, and go into each of these corners. So we're going to not do the tower for now, but we're going to go put one of uh, the polished diorite in the corner. Then you're going to go up seven with the quartz pillars, like this, that's only five. So we want to go up two more and place another diorite uh, on top. So it should be seven, and then with uh, it's going to be nine in total with these ones. So we're going to build these up uh, on the rest of these bits. So we'll go around the entire build just building up these pillars. Right then, so as you can see we've built up all the pillars and they're looking pretty nice. In terms of this tower here, uh, we're just going to build up here up to the 7 and then in the other corners in here we're going to build up uh, 13 in total so you want to go uh, just place this in the corner then go up 11 so it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and up like that. So we're going to build up this over here and on this one we're only going to go up from uh, from the height of this so we're just going to go up here and then we should have to only build up three and up like this and then like that and as you can see uh, it looks pretty nice. So now that we've done that we're going to add in the sort of framework so for most of it it's just going to be flat so on these ones it's going to be like that however in this, uh, this face here it's going to be going up in a simple you know one block in uh, pattern like this just in line with that and we're going to do that on this face so it's going to be on this longer face as well as this shorter face on this side I and mean, it's also going to be going up like that on this side and it's just we just want to make it go up like this until it is like one block outside the wall so let's get right into it Right then, so now that we've built up this area, as you can see, it is looking uh, pretty good. So we've just got a large, you know, a few of these sort of things going up here. And I think now what we're going to do is just going to build up the base uh, of a sort of circular bit of a tower. So you want, you want to get your diorite walls like this. You want to move in sort of one block in, so it should go like that. So we want to do this in all of the corners. So it should look something like that. We're then going to build up three of the quartz pillars on the di diorite on top, 
and then connect it up like this. And we're just going to leave this for now, but in a minute we're going to go around like that so it looks uh, pretty nice. So now we're going to fill in the walls. So it's pretty simple. What we want to do is we want to build up, we're going to want to build up three with the dial, uh, calcite, three with the wool, and then to the peak with the uh, concrete. So it should look like that. Then what we're going to do is just mix all the blocks in. Uh, so just, you know, like randomly. Every block should go maybe like one or two below its layer. Uh, and it kind of looks like uh, that. It's probably, I'll do it again on this side so you can sort of see it a bit better. So as you can see in this case, it doesn't go all the way up to the concrete. It just goes two with these. And what we're going to do is just go up, you know, one or two blocks with this. I'm going to go down a block with that. Up sort of like this. You can put one underneath that just to split it apart a bit more. And as you can see, it just makes the build look a lot more interesting. So we're going to go around the entire build, excluding the stop bit of the tower, just with this uh, sort of gradient here, and then we'll get right back to it. Right then, so we've completely finished the walls for the build. Uh, as you can see, I mean, now we can just get rid of these bits because uh, you don't need them. I'm not going to be doing interior as I said before, but uh, if you like something like that, then let me know. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's looking pretty good. Uh, now we're going to start building up uh, the roof. So, we're just going to get rid of these blocks and we're going to start building the outline with our deep slate uh, bricks. So all we want to do, it's a very simple roof, so we're just going to go along like this, but instead of doing upside down stairs, sort of like this, as uh, you would normally, you can do that if you want. I'm going to be using walls, because I just think it gives it a little bit more shape. We're just going to go up like this, and as you can see, it looks uh, pretty decent. Uh, it just adds a little bit more interest and depth to uh, the roof. So we're going to go around the entire thing like this, so it's, you know, we've, we just did it there, it's pretty much the same all the way around, just going along like this. Uh, the only difference is in the top bit, you just want to place a slab like that. So let's add this or outlines for roof around the entire build. Right then, so as you can see, we've just built up uh, this sort of bit of a roof here, and it's looking uh, pretty good. So uh, we're just going to fill in, actually, yeah, so we've gone all the way around, but uh, for this bit here, it sort of goes up in a slab pattern, but we've got stairs on the end, so it just goes up like this. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add in the slabs just on this bit. Right, so now we're going to start building up that bit, so all you want is your polished granite, and your direct wall, and you just want to place them like this in a pattern uh, around here. Then you just want to go up three with the uh, walls, so it should look uh, like that. And then obviously just place these on top of. And we're gonna break these sort of inner bits here, and get the pillar and just go around these bits like this. Uh, so we'll just place one there, there, there and there so it should look like that and then in these corner bits here we're just going to place our slabs just to make it stand out a little bit and to just give it a little bit of a roof here so we're going to start filling in this roof so it is a little bit interesting so what we want to do is we want to get our stone variety blocks we don't need for walls yet and our andesite blocks and what we want to do is we want to go up here with the full blocks, then we're going to build along three, 
so it should look like that. So we're going to do this on every layer. And then go like this up like that. So it's going to create sort of like a separation between each part of the roof. And then what we're going to do is just mix in the uh, andesite blocks into it. So it should look something like this. So I'm going to go all the way around. We're not going to do the tower for now, but we're just going to fill in this part of the roof with this pattern. So let's go. Right then guys, so as you can see, we have finished the roof. It's looking pretty nice. Some of the sort of like overlap bits are a bit annoying. So as you can see here, uh, it doesn't really line up with that one. And we have to sort of place a stair going in that direction. And uh, over here, obviously it doesn't quite line up. So we're just gonna have to place a full block here and then go up as if it's carrying on. And we're just gonna leave that bit there. And obviously it goes along like this. But overall, it looks pretty nice, and if you're just like a casual observer, you're not really going to notice that. So, now we're going to get onto the tower. So, our first thing that we're going to do is we are going to get our outlining blocks. So, we just need these ones. We're going to uh, place a full block. Well, I'm just going to place two slabs, but it still acts as a full block like this. A slab underneath stairs like that uh, then we're gonna place some walls here a uh, stair on top of those wall in between uh, well we can just place one something like this in in the middle of these and we're gonna place a uh, slab on top of that so it should look like this then we're just gonna repeat that on the other side so we'll just quickly do that Right then, so now that we've done that, uh, it's, as you can see, it just goes around looking pretty nice. So we're gonna, we're just going to get rid of those and move our granite blocks along and get our walls. So what we want to do is we're just going to go up fairly simply. So we're just going to create a square like this. Then we're going to go up over uh, somewhat like this. So it's just going to be a little sort of thing like this for now. Place a wall in the corners. So it's going to connect into it. We're then going to place a stair in the middle here. So it's going to look like that. And then go around the inside. Then we're going to place blocks in the middle here. Like that. Walls in these uh, corners again. Stairs on top. Uh, sort of a block in the middle like that and then finally a wall on top of that so in the end we get a little pointy tower like that so it looks pretty interesting uh, obviously you've, it's quite complicated so you may want to re-watch the video if you didn't get quite get all of that well not for video but that little section uh, so as you can see it's looking pretty nice so now what we're going to do is add windows and the final extra details so what we want is we want to get our well first of all we want to get our uh, smooth quartz stairs and slabs so we're just going to put these right at the front like this so it should look like that and we're going to get our azalea leaves and warped trapdoors so we'll use this wall as an example so we want to place a uh, quart, smooth quartz thing at the bottom move up two blocks and then place an upside down stair so we're going to fill this in like that then on top of it we want to place a right way up stair and go up again like that so it should look like this then uh, uh, in front of the stair, we want to place an azalea leaf, another one up here, and underneath we want to place a warped trap door. So that blue bit is just going to add a little bit more colour to the build, and it's going to look pretty good. So let's go around the entire build and add in uh, some windows, and after that it's going to be pretty much over.
Right then, so that is pretty much the build done. As you can see, I did some other little details that I didn't really mention. So obviously, uh, I added in a door. So this is a fairly simple technique. You just put a slab in the middle, then do walls on the sides. So it goes back a little bit, then put a door with some trapdoors around it behind it. And that creates just a very nice little curved uh, doorway. Uh, we've also got windows on this tower. Uh, and we've added in black stained glass into these gaps here to connect the walls and placed some leaves in front of them. So that is actually some other details are these little bits in the middle. So we've put them on top of in the middle of those bits as well as on top of those uh, the sort of larger faces over there and it just makes that bit there look a little bit less empty. So uh, that is the build done. As you can see, it looks pretty nice and I think it's a very nice little church. Obviously you can adapt it, change some of the blocks out, but I thought this looked pretty cool. So uh, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe. So uh, thanks. Uh, bye.